Hello everyone, let's look at this alternating series. Um, since it's an alternating series, we can use the alternating series test to test its convergence. And to test this series, we need to um, check the two conditions for the alternating series test. Um, for the first condition, um, before I actually talk about the two conditions, I actually should just give this, this factor, the three over n squared plus four, a name first, right? So we can call this one. So let this be bn. And so we call this 3 over n squared plus 4bn. And so this is really just a portion of the series without the alternating factor. So now what happened is that the two conditions from the alternating series is that uh, one of them is that bn is decreasing. And then the other one is that when you take the limit as n goes to infinity, then this bn is approaching zero. So let's check the first condition. For the first condition, what we are going to do is that we are going to um, just look at the related function for this bn right here. What does that mean? Um, the related function for this bn It's actually a function of the same form as this one, except that it's a function whose graph is a curve. Okay, so it's x squared plus four. <clears throat> and then when, as we are uh, putting in different n values in there and all those points will lie on this, the curve of this function. Okay, so that's what happens. All we need to show is that uh, we can show that this function is decreasing. And if we can show that this function is decreasing, and since all the points that are generated by this bn uh, lie on the function, then we can also say that bn is decreasing. So what we can do to show that it's decreasing is that we can take the derivative of this related function and then show that it's related for um, certain x values. And actually, when we do that, we actually need to show it for all x values that are greater than a certain positive number. OK, so let's try that first and see what's going on. So the related function, um, when we take the derivative, we are going to get what? Let's try it here. The derivative of the related function is that um, we're going to use a quotient rule for this. Okay, so we are going to get a fraction. And then we take the derivative of the top, which will give us zero, right? Because the derivative of three, it, three is a constant, so we are going to get zero here. And then times the, the denominator minus. Now we take, we take the top and then times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x. And then we also have the x squared plus four in the denominator. So simplifying this function, then we are going to get negative six x all over. x squared plus four and then square. Okay, so we know that the denominator is always positive. As you can see here, there was a square. There was actually a square on the x. And then so if you do uh, x squared plus 4, then that's a positive quantity. And then if you square that, that's still, again, a positive quantity. <clears throat> now, because we are only going to consider all the x values that are greater than or equal to 1. So what happened is that for all x values that are positive, we are going to get this to be negative. So this is actually less than or equal to zero, actually it cannot be equal to zero because x is non-zero in this case. So it's actually less than zero for all x greater than or equal to one. So what does that mean? Because the derivative is less than zero, it's negative for all x greater than or equal to one, that means the function is decreasing. Yeah, so now we can say that, um, so f is decreasing. on the interval starting from one to infinity okay 
And so because the related function is decreasing on this interval, then we can also conclude that the bn is also decreasing. And so we say that, which implies that the bn is decreasing. And what that means is that uh, b sub n plus 1 is less than or equal to b sub n for n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so the first condition is satisfied. Now we need to check the second condition. The second condition is actually just taking the limit of this bn here. So if we look at this second condition of the bn, and that's equal to the limit as n approaches infinity, we have this function right here, which is 3 over n squared plus 4. And as you can see here, we have a finite number in the numerator, and as the denominator gets larger and larger, then we are going to have that this function is approaching zero. So you can say that, okay, so that's that um, this function is approaching zero. So now the, um, the second condition is also satisfied. So now since both requirements are satisfied for um, this alternating series, then by the alternating series test, this series converges. Okay, so now let's write down the, con uh, the conclusion. So we can say therefore, right, the series, Well, actually, we can say that by the AST, so the series, this original series here, n equals 1, and then like the 1 to the n, and then times 3 over uh, n squared plus 4, right? The series is convergent. Well, we can say that it converges. Okay. And then I should really just, I should really just highlight this, this result here. Okay, so that's it for this problem. And yeah, so sometimes we can also show that this, uh, we can also show just in general that b sub n plus 1 is less than or equal to b sub n by algebra manipulation from from uh, by just comparing the two. But we can also just um, use the related function. We take the derivative of the related function and show that it's negative for um, x greater than or equal to some number. In this case, it will be just one. And then if the related function is decreasing, then the b and the turns are also decreasing. And then, yeah, so the limit part is actually quite easy. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and then give me some support. I'll continue to make more math videos in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next time.